Hey everybody, I wanted to give an update on the autoblogger workflows that I started a couple weeks back. So you might have noticed that the videos that I promised I haven't made yet, and that's because I've been sitting around blogging. Not entirely automatically either. I'm kind of freeing the beast. I'm doing a mix of a lot of real writing on mine, and I'm also taking the YouTube videos that I have on this channel, transcribing them just in Dropbox. You load it into that, you get the whole transcript, grab it really easy. Yeah, so I grabbed the transcript, loaded into a Medium blog, kind of fancy it up with some AI generated images, format the article. And what's really awesome is I've already earned about $53 on about 24 posts. And I'm only about a half month in, and a Medium membership is $4.99. So this has more than 10x'd itself already. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it because I love writing, more correctly to say, I probably love rambling. Now I'm getting paid for it. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. I wanted to cover a few things today. I wanted to show you some of the output that I've been getting and how I've used it or not used it in this case, actually to a great degree. And then I wanted to finish by showing you my first actually automated blog that I have that's out there. And I think I've done it in such a way that it should pass most people's ethics filters. It's a little unique way to use an automated blog solely to drive traffic to one of my e-commerce websites. And I kind of want to go into why I think it's ethical and other examples of how you might be able to use this automated blogging without pissing a bunch of people off. So I'm going to go to my Medium account and let's click on drafts and check some of these out. So these were all made with the workflows that I presented uh, in the videos that I made earlier, link down in the description if you haven't seen it. And as you can see, they're all kind of painfully generic, just even looking at the titles. And if we open up one, they came up with some cool images though, I'll give it that. But they're very, very generic. And if I wanted to come in and make this mine, I would have to completely change it. Like I pretty much thought I would, and I mentioned that in the first video, but really, I can't let these go because a lot of these things I haven't done. Like I have not published eBooks or anything like that. I haven't really launched my own online course, you know, maybe one day. So on automated income lifestyle, I really want it to be me talking about things that I've actually done. And that's why pretty much none of these have, have gone through. I did publish one of them that I, really just kind of edited it a little bit, made it mine. And the reason that I published it, it was something that I've actually investigated. So I haven't done it, but I'm familiar with it. And I know people who have, and that is NFT rentals. Where is that one? There we go. Right here. So really, I don't feel like letting anything fly on this blog unless it's something that I can actually represent. I don't want to ding my trust there. And there's many examples of writing where I just don't think AI is the best thing. Like if you want to start writing essays and things that people really want to absorb and read, I mean, we don't want to remove the human element from that. I just, I don't. But there are ethical ways you can do this. And I mentioned one in my last video, I haven't gotten around to it, which is like an Amazon product review blog. And I don't know if it'll be a review blog. It might, I have to come up with another creative way to do it because I don't want to misrepresent it. You know, if I haven't tried a product, I also don't want to promote it, even if it's on a blog where, you know, maybe it'd be easy to get away with that if I didn't associate it with myself, but I don't really want to do that necessarily. So what I'm going to do, I deployed a blog on my Motherfunker print on demand shop that I've been showing you on this channel. You know, instead of barking about fashion or a bunch of things that are just kind of like, ah, oh, it'll probably generate something horrible. There's a running science theme, if you haven't been able to tell, on my Mother Funker website. It's got sacred geometry, all sorts of patterns. So you can really correlate a lot of these cool designs with math, geometry, things like that. I decided to publish a blog that was a fake science blog. So let's go to my blog, and it's generating some wonderful articles. Unraveling Quantum Mechanics, Bridging the Gap. The groundbreaking discovery of gravitational waves, quantum entanglement, and it's coming up with beautiful, vivid images, really well uh, structured 
articles. I mean, these are great and I don't need to touch these at all. And what is cool is a lot of them you can, I've researched uh, the quantum entanglement thing, which it's saying valid things that you would find online if you actually searched for it. It's not just completely making it up. It might recombobble some things, but the author is listed as Funkerbot, which if you don't know, that's the name of my chat support bot. So it lets people know that this is a blog written by a bot. And in this case, I'm kind of pretending that it's the same bot that you get the customer support from. So that's just an idea, e-commerce aficionados. But here's the thing, I'm selling t-shirts and hoodies. Nobody expects to come here and find a blog that is some, you know, totally valid science blog, but this is an excellent, cool way. I don't know what kind of marketing you would call this, but I'm using a totally separate topic that kind of fits with my brand and I'm blogging about that instead. And I'm just letting AI rip. And that seems to me to be a perfect use case. Like if you can come up with some niche theme to run on your e-com site that's related, but not, That'll be, they, I, I see that being ethical. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is a good way to engage people with a totally AI generated blog? I think it's neat anyway. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my auto blogger videos today. For those who've been waiting, I bet you've probably already figured it out without me, but I'm going to go ahead and finish. Don't forget to hit like and some, you know, all that stuff that all of us YouTubers say on every single video we make. Onward and upward, everybody. Till next time. Thank you.